Hello, I'm Chef Abby and welcome to this segment of Truck Driving Chef. I've actually finally got stopped. I'm sorry that it's a little late. Um, trying to find a parking place in Maryland about this time of night is a bit difficult, but as I've promised, I'm going to start um, carving our pumpkin. Well, let's off where we were today, and hopefully those of you that were there this morning are here now, and I hope all of you got to do your trick-or-treating with your children, or at least got to do the video chat with them and got the chance to see them in their costumes and so on and so forth. So let's get started. Okay, as I've said many, many times before, just because we drive out on the road does not mean that we cannot enjoy in the festivities of the holidays. You can always use video chat via your iPad or iPhone or your FaceTime, which is what Apple uses, or Facebook, such as this. So there's no reason why you have to you know, miss out on all the fun things at home. You can even have a meal with your family via video chat. So, anywho, let's get started. I've got these things at Walmart. Little things I showed you earlier. I've got my spoon that I got from it. It's got a perforated edge on it to help get the guts out of it. And we've got magic markers, water, a pan to put the melt, you know, so to get this thing wet, and a little knife to open it up with. And we've got a bowl for all of the seeds and ghibli bits inside. My father used to take the ghibli bits inside the pumpkin, and he'd get all the seeds out, and he would mix them with spaghetti so it felt like brains whenever we did the... Uh, under the curtain hand in the bucket thing it was gross okay now we've got this here we're going to wet this here in a minute we put a little water in there so we can wet our pattern now it calls for saran wrap so i'm going to attempt this this time by using push pins instead so let's go with this okay we also need a second bowl for any pumpkin gathering pulp inside that you would like to save for a later dessert. Okay, we're going to set that aside. Now, let's get started. we we'll set this aside too. Let's get started with the insides. Now, this battery operating thing, I don't know if it's really going to work or not, but you know, technology. So, let's get started. And a lot of you have actually asked me, God, Chef, how do you have the time to do all this? I typically drive seven, no, not seven, 9.75 hours. I sleep merely only eight of it, if that. And the rest of it's used for, an hour and a half of it's used for my workout and cooking breakfast in the mornings. So that leaves at least three hours to play with. All right, you're gonna take your magic marker. I've got a little bowl, and that's if you put your fist in it, it's big enough to get your fist down into, so you know you'll be able to handle it really well. And we're going to draw a circle, try to get a complete circle out of the top. So, you know where to start with your pattern. I mean, to cut the top out. You want to cut it at an angle whenever you cut it, so that when you're cutting inward, it's a bit off. We're going to come around this way just a little bit. Make sure that it's a almost a complete circumference of a circle because you can always take bleach or some of that um where is mine my favorite Gemex and it'll get the coloring off of it all right whoo that thing smells bad all right set that aside now I'm gonna take a paring knife and we're gonna cut at an angle preferably about a 30 degree angle something like that and you can feel that click, so you know that it went through. And you're just gonna work your way around the top at the angle. And you can do it a little at a time and then score your way around it. 
So those of you that have children on board with you, this is a great idea to do with them. To give them something to do for the holiday since they're not able to get in there trick-or-treating. Unless of course you park at a truck stop that is near and not too far from a neighborhood. Just make sure that you stay with them if that's what you do because you know you don't know neighborhoods these days. Okay, and the reason you cut this is an angle is so it doesn't fall through whenever you go to do this. Now if you want to draw your thing on you can do that too. But I'm going to show you how to do this this way. It's the first time I've used a pattern myself too. Normally I draw it on too. But I saw a cute little cat and a bat that I thought maybe I would try it this year. Normally I do this with my children. Of course my children are grown except for the one I've got at home now. Her name is Little Miss Megan. Hi baby girl if you happen to read, watch this. She also does our healthy tidbits for the show. Oh, good lord, am I ever going to get around this damn thing? Oh, I can feel it popping loose. It's getting looser. Now you might be a little bit off, but the the the, um, the line that you've drawn around it is typically a guideline. Okay. Voila! Now let's see how well of a cutter I am. Okay, some of the bits are still attached. You can slightly tilt it upward and you can feel the jibbly bits in there. Now you can take those and carve them off with a knife and put them into your, your bin. Now when you pick out a pumpkin, I actually got to pick out two pumpkins this year. Um, a young man, well actually he's not really that young, but it, a, a gentleman that has been following me for a long time. His name is Larry. He works at Walmart in, forgive me if I get this wrong, but I believe it's B -B -R -A, B -E -R -E -A, uh, B-E-R-E-A, Kentucky. He recognized me, bless his little heart, got his photograph taken with me. And now that I've done that, I'm going to put some Germex on me. Now those of you, and he helped me pick out one pumpkin, this one here. Now I have another one that I picked out at a, um, uh, at a pumpkin patch. I was able to get the 18 wheeler alongside and go in there and pick it out and so on and so forth. I'm going to use that for pumpkin pie later and my harvest chowder. Now, you see the inside, it's all icky and gooey. We're going to take and open up this. Now, if you want to preserve your um, your jack-o'-lantern, first let me tell you, when you're picking out your pumpkin, the harder the pumpkin, the better. Because then your, your piece and all that stuff will stay firm. Now, if you want to preserve it a little longer, you're going to take and do a two-part mixture, one part bleach, two parts water, and that will preserve it. Because when you're trying to preserve it, it um, you want to try and keep the bacteria, which causes mold, which in a sense is penicillin, raw, but which was discovered accidentally by a scientist. And you put it in, you know, it keeps it from growing, so it'll preserve your jack-o'-lantern better. Okay, I've almost got these out. Okay, so now I'm going to put my Ghibli bits in there to, for now, to, um, in the bowl. I'm going to put them into a container to, for, and put them in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow, or the next day, I'm going to show you guys how to make your flavored seasoned pumpkin seeds. And the equipment you can use to do that. Okay, we've got to get all this out of here. And this may take a little bit, guys, but I'm just trying to show you how fun this actually can be. Okay. I really don't like touching gooey and greasy things like this, so it's slimy. <laughs> I'm not into sliminess, but I'm almost there. So if I carve out part of the pumpkin, I don't care. <laughs> I don't like getting all slimy. <laughs> it's the worst thing feeling ever. It reminds me of those <laughs> under the curtain bowl surprise that my father used to put up sometimes. 
it always felt like brains well what I would think brains would feel like <laughs> okay almost there This thing is really good. It's, it really gets it out good. The, the perforated edge, it really cuts through it. It's almost clean. And you want to try to make sure you get all... See, it's almost clean. Almost. And you want to make sure you get all the gooey gunk out. Because when you go to put your little tea lights inside, you don't want them to, you know, start sticking to it. Then you're going to smell burnt pumpkin <laughs> without a flame. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. I got to put my hand in it. Oh, Ooh. yuck. <laughs> okay, whoops, there's a few more seeds. Those seeds are sticking, aren't they? Okay. Now, William, you were listening, if you're listening, and you'll probably watch this later. You said you had an 11 year old child on board with you. This is something really fun. And the way that I've got this set up is, oh, yuck, is I've got a TV tray. This is my countertop. I have a TV tray underneath me. Well, not me, but the tabletop. And I have two um, Rubbermaid tubs well, starlight tubs underneath that. I mean, on top of that with my wooden countertops. And it makes for a good deal. Okay, we're done. <laughs> There's nothing else in there. Okay, now what I want to do is uh, wipe my hand off. It's sticky and gooey and chalky. Okay, it's time for the germics. <laughs> okay, now because I want a clean pumpkin I'm putting Germex on my on it to try and get off any of the dirt that's on it so it won't interfere with what I'm doing and make sure you have a clean pumpkin because you want your carving to be all nice and clean this helps with any germs bacteria stuff like that okay now Let's see. I think that's a perfect side. We're going to put the kitty cat there. I see this thing comes with all kinds of little designs. Witches shoes. We're going to do a cat. Let's see. The cat. Okay. Apparently we've got to tear this out of here. Okay. And we're going to take some water and put into here. I just had it. You don't need a lot of water. You're just going to wet the, the paper. That's all you're doing. And we have to cut the bottom off. So you're going to need scissors too. Oh, great. My scissors are stuck together. Okay. Here we go. Cut this off. Now it just gives you different little, let me show you the bottom of this does. It gives you different techniques that you can do. The bottom. The darker color is going to be, the light color here is what's, it's all out. This one is just a little bit out, but not all the way. This is partly done and this is, you know, just to give it a little light. Okay. We're going to do, just cut it out. All right, let me move this, put this here. All right, supposed to get it wet. I guess so it'll stick better. Okay, set that aside. Let's put the little pumpkin thingy on there. There we go. It's on there. <laughs> okay. Put this one here. We're going to stick stick pins in one each corner. Won't hurt the pumpkin. Pumpkin's already dead, so you don't have to worry about it being alive and torturing the poor thing. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a knife and try and carve it out. 
So let's see what we can do. Oh man. This is not going to be very easy. Hey, it's not as hard as I thought. Now let's see if this thing actually works. There you go. Aha! I got a new toy. Oh, you're going to have to cut it. <laughs> Put perforated edges in it. Okay, I see how it's going to be. Okay. I guess so it'll move better through it. We'll try to get as much of a cat out of it as we can. Okay. Once you get it started, it looks as if you can go right on through it. Let's see how well it comes out. <laughs> Okay, let's go the other way. This is actually fun! <laughs> okay, let's see. I thought <laughs> it's pretty easy once you get it started okay let's see how much of a cat it's really gonna turn out looking like when we're done whoops that's why you want to draw it on first <laughs> okay here we go I said but hey it's starting to come out <laughs> okay and that's how easy it is to do so y'all yeah, can bear with me a minute I'll figure out how to get it out of here I'm on the kitty cat. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now all you kids out there, I hope you're enjoying this. So if your parents are on the lorry, you can actually enjoy and do this too. Okay, here we go. No worries, I have plenty of batteries. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me put a knife bit into here. Try and get the kitty cat's body and whatnot out of this. I think the kids are going to love this and I'm sorry if they want you to do it after this, so. <laughs> oh, somebody's sending me a text. I wonder if it's the hubby. <laughs> of course, he's probably watching me do this. He gets a kick out of me. He laughed at me today because I was Batgirl. <laughs> but I had a blast, 
so okay now let's see how good we can do this <laughs> okay It's this whirly thing that's a, with a tail. Let's see how good we can do this. Okay, at least we know I can use a jigsaw. Well, maybe. <laughs> I might tear it up. <laughs> okay. can't do it backwards. I have to do it this way. I feel like I'm in art class again. It's a great way to end the day. Relaxing. And enjoying yourself. I wonder if it's going to come out looking like a cat or not. <laughs> so far so good <laughs> all right let's meet this down here I got its tail that side of its body all right it's time to come up here now I'm going to if you do this a lot of times it might bleed through <laughs> so at least you know where to cut out might work all right I wonder if we're gonna get a cat out of this <laughs> it's the only thing I wonder I like this motor reoperator nice though Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh, come on. Don't be a book. You know you want to come out of there. Is that a battery? No? It's just the angle, I guess. I might have bent it. <laughs> you know what? Let's try another blade. Nope, I like the battery better. Almost guys, we're almost there. I know I said that about an hour ago, right? <laughs> we almost have a cat. Copping was going to take this long. <laughs> OK, 
Hey, it looks like we might have the cat. <laughs> Can you see the carving? I'll outline it. Well, that's not working because it's wet. Okay, now you've got that out of there, so now you got to work this out. And the way you do that is you've got to cut each piece simultaneously so you don't break your pattern. But don't cut your fingers. It would not be good. There's one piece. This is the delicate part because it's the cat's ears and its hat. Hey! <laughs> I'm going to put these in there because I'm going to actually cut off some of the pumpkin that, ugh, that's on there. got to kind of calm it out. So, whoops, I broke that hat. I broke the hat! <laughs> it's not good! It's a lopsided kitty cat, I think. Got another piece out. I don't want to break the cat's tail. No, if I can wedge it out. Oh, I did it! <laughs> it's another piece out, guys. So you can see so far. Okay, now let's get the other side out. Hope and pray I don't break the hat this time. Okay. It's hard to do because your whole piece is going to start to come out. So you want to sort of cut each piece as you can so that you can break it apart in pieces. Sometimes you'll get lucky <laughs> and actually get it out. <laughs> and I'll answer all you guys' questions when I'm done with this. Okay. think we might have saved the hat on this side <laughs> okay let's see yep I think we did I'm excited I want to see what it looks like <laughs> it's like taking a piece part of puzzle <laughs> You don't want to break it. <laughs> Let's see. I guess you can use this to get out the pieces. This is hard, guys. But it's fun. It's worth it after a long day to enjoy yourself doing this type of thing. Even if you can do it with the kiddos via video chat. We did it! <laughs> There's the kitty cat. Now I'm going to take and going to look at what we got here. Let me see if I can duplicate it. Ah, my nose. Let's see. We've got a little circle here. I 
And if you don't go too far, the light might shine through it. Let's see. We've got eyeballs. See if we can get that out. I doubt we can. Wish I had my nail, my um, cutting tools from home, my artist tools. I have art tools at home. I teach. I have. I actually have a um, ceramic shop at home in Texas. So let's see. I think we'll put some pupils in this thing's eyeballs. Poor kitty. Sorry, kitty cat. You'll have eyes in a minute, I promise. Okay. Let's make his mouth glow. These are neat little carving tools. They work really well. Okay. And another cool thing is like when you get done with it, you get the like water paints out. Not water paints, acrylic paints out. And you can let the kids actually paint in like eyes and things like that too. <laughs> He's got his little eyeballs. Alright, now his little hat comes across like this. <laughs> I'm not the best artist in the world with these, but I'm close enough, I guess. Okay. Let's see about cleaning out this a little bit. Make him look at least a little bit happy. Okay, and over here he was holding a jack o' lantern himself. So let's see if we can do a rounded little pumpkin. Score it. Come back with the other tool. Now William, I hope your son or your your son is watching this. And you are too because you know thanks to me you're gonna have to do it. Not as easy as it looks. <laughs> but I'm having fun showing you how easy it is for you to enjoy the holiday season. Okay, I'm done for now. The kitty cat. Now, as far as lights are concerned. I got these cute little tea lights at Walmart. They already have batteries in them, so you don't have to worry about it. You just flip the switch and on they go. And you can place those inside your jack-o'-lanterns. Now, I would normally probably put a lid or something in the bottom, because these don't get hot. You know, so you don't have to worry about not having, worried about the flame. It already has a flame in it. Okay, let's see how our jack-o'-lantern looks. Let me turn the light out. To an extent. 
Hold on. Looky there. <laughs> And we have an All's Hallow Eve. I hope all of you enjoyed this segment of Truck Driving Share. And I'm here to show all of you that it's great fun to be able to do things like this on your 18 wheeler. Or as I love to say, lorry. Because that's what I grew up calling it. You guys have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, keep your children happy if you've got them if you're at home and you're on home time save some candy for me man talk to you later have a good evening happy halloween